Hey folks, it's Grimwit from NatGeva.com. We played some role-playing games, and uh, we discovered the horrible secret to the gnomes, the pink paint, yeah, stuff happened. Now the question comes up, what should we do now? Well, let's try hypnotizing this doll. Strange. The silly rabbit didn't even react to Lily's ball of wool. Huh. I guess I kind of forgot. It's been a while. I'll be honest, I'm kind of half remembering how to do stuff, but I'm pretty sure this happened during the battle. The Valley of Unpleasant Memories is pretty much cursed. Oh good, an arrow. Lily was always happy when something was left over, but usually it was only breadcrumbs and bones and things like that. I think that's a reused line. Anyway, uh, I can't remember how many points I put into uh, lockpick. Uh, I know I probably leveled up, so that'll probably be enough. What a shame. Lily just didn't have the skills. <sighs> Mr. Roleplayer Guy, I need to put some s skills into lockpick. You're certainly a brave warrioress. All of Hoth Motigor is in your debt. Can, can somebody give me a couple of skills or some crap? You? That's so depressing. I'm supposed to award experience points to improve a talent. Expressive dance, making music, lock picking. I don't actually want to be able to do any of those things. Isn't there a talent such as accepting one's fate? Or assigning experience points without experiencing an existential crisis? Peter's dithering made Lily furious. Couldn't the notorious whiner make even the most basic decisions? Lily would have liked to smack him across the face, but something held her back. Yep. Anger power activate. <laughs> Ouch. <sighs> You're right. I'll just increase pick locks, and that's it. There. Why don't you just hold on to the character sheet? I don't want anything to do with it anymore. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Petra? That was fun! You really have to play with us again sometime! Hey, what's up, Druggle Jug? Druggle Jug? D are you sure, Druggle Jug? Druggle Jug? Well, I understand, but, I mean, that would hurt, surely. Druggle Jug. Uh, Alright, well, I gotta go pierce my... Okay, now that we've got some points in lockpick, we should now be able to unlock this. It sounded crazy, but... She now actually had the skill to pick locks. Done. The gate was open. She wondered if... You can't be serious. Oh yeah, that worked. It was true. She'd opened the real gate during her trance. The path to the Asylum's tower was now free. Somewhere in the dark uncertainty, there she would find her friend. Without really thinking about it, Lily took the stuffed rabbit with her. If she was going to enter Dr. Marcel's realm, she didn't want to do it alone, like she usually did. It might actually come in handy. 
Let's see what's going on here. Hey, there's Edna's cell. Lily was certain. This had to be the cell that Edna was being held in. The door was firmly locked. Yeah, I do have skills in lockpick now. What an ugly boy. Why someone would put up a picture like that baffled Lily. We need to take that down. That's ugly. Let's see, what else is going on in here? The moon wants us to know. Do not disturb. Please don't disturb. Well, Lily was an expert at that. She could stand on the sidelines for hours without anyone noticing her. Yeah, like a water girl. This had to be Dr. Marcel's office. Lily thought she heard faint, raspy breathing behind the door. We need to give this guy a piece of our mind. And possibly a knife in the neck. The door was firmly locked. I have points in lock picking. All right, fine. To the storage room. This is the kind of thing I always knew would happen. Is that a mirror? The mirror was too high, but Lily had never liked her reflection. Oh, let's grab that. We might need it. This bowling ball had a creepy expression, but not creepier than the little boys in the picture in the hallway. Okay, that is clearly Alf right there. Let's see what else can we pick up around here. Termite farm. Grab oh, oh, awkward. Lily had destroyed the termite farm. Uh, alright. The phantom looked depressed, but Lily noticed something else. A key ring. No. Was that the key to Edna's cell? Surely so. How's the eye? Sorry about that. Leave me alone. I'm a hopeless case. Father was right. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm Reuben, Dr. Marcel's secret second son, Alfred's older brother. Lily didn't know who Alfred was, but she still thought it was appropriate to catch her breath in shock. <gasps> we were supposed to have the perfect upbringing. Pops thought traditional methods were inadequate. That's why he began developing his own, while Alfred responded to his practices. I developed conspicuous behavior. No. I was a failed experiment. Pops was so disappointed that he kept me in the asylum cellar, hidden from the outside world. Alfred, on the other hand, was presented as a shining example of his parenting methods. I never had a chance to make him proud of me. Since Alfred died, Everything just got worse. I'm invisible to him. A ghost. A bad dream. The strange circumstances surrounding Alfred's death showed him that childishness is a Butter disease scotch. that needs to be eradicated. Mm. I should have died back then. If I could only see my brother one more time, I never got to say goodbye to him. Oh, what? What? Oh, shit. Um, I was listening. Uh... Okay. The clothes rack reminded Lily of the old man from the school. Did that really happen today? Earlier on, too. Yeah. Hey, yeah, this whole thing's happened an entire day. Oh, Alfred. Oh. I still have so much Alfred. to tell you. Lily saw that she would never get the keys this way. Well, we need to, uh, do stuff. What else can we look at in here? What's this? It's a lunchbox. Somebody had left their lunchbox. That would never happen to Lily. She didn't have a lunchbox. We need to get Lily a lunchbox. If you want Lily to have a lunchbox, join Google Plus and leave a comment. Because Google Plus wants you. Your life, your soul, everything. Huh? Noteworthy. The termites scarfed all the pancakes and ate a hole through the door in the process. I just figured I'd... Huh? Oh well. Who eats pancakes for lunch? Okay, well, whatever. Let's just add this uh, bowling ball here for no reason. On top of the clothes rack, the bowling ball looked like a skull. But something was missing. 
It did? Does that look like a skull? Oh well. Have clothes costume. Lily shuddered. Suddenly there was a ghost in the store. <laughs> What's that? A ghost? A good ghost. Hey, listen here. If anybody's gonna do any haunting here, it's me. Beat it. If you see Alfred. <laughs> tell him to haunt round this way sometime. I never got to say goodbye to him. You'll be able to yourself. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just put that over here then. On this hook. Hanging up the portrait of the ugly boy there would certainly be spooky. But something was missing. <sighs> okay. So many hooks and things to hang on hooks. This isn't that difficult a puzzle. It's just complicated. There we go. Mirror on the door. Hole through the door. Hole through the door shines moonlight from the mirror onto this ghost thingy. Can you imagine reading this in a book and trying and the author trying to describe it to you? What's that? A ghost? Hey, listen here. If anyone's gonna be haunting around here, then wait, wait a minute. Alfred? Alfred! It's really you! I I can't believe it. Me either. Oh, Alfred. I never got to say goodbye. <laughs> and I have so much I still want to tell you. Where to begin? Oh yeah, I know. You lousy, dirty toad! Because of you, I've lived my whole life in a stinking sewer. Just you wait. That's right, get it all out, mister. Yoink. Hmm. Well, there's Dr. Marceau, but we need to help Edna, like, now, and stuff. The door was firmly locked. But we have a key. The door was... <laughs> Lenny! Oh, thank goodness. We were so worried that they had gotten you, too. Huh. The doctor has completely lost his mind. He wants to turn us all into mindless puppets. Just look at what he's done to Mother Superior. Oh, hello, Lily. Hi. Nice to see you. But what are you doing here in the middle of the night? Shopping. Did the other students make you do this? They are such naughty children. You, on the other hand, were always so good. Uh. So good. Uh, um. I'm sorry that I was always so strict with you. But now, thanks to Dr. Marcel, I'm a good child too. Come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me embroider the dolls for the doctor. Just ignore her. Please concentrate on finding a way to get us out of here. We have to split before the doctor... Uh-oh. <laughs> I finally caught you. I was hoping you'd show up here. I can use all the help I can get to speed up production of my hypnosis dolls. Soon, I'll be delivering them across the entire world. And then, naughty children will become the stuff of fairy tales. Once I've subjected you to my improved hypnotherapy, Nothing can stop me. <laughs> I, well, oh, uh, isn't this how the first game started? Lily was trapped. There's a scene there. The upholstery was torn. What had happened here? No kidding. Hey, Mother Superior. It appeared that Mother Superior was under the influence of Dr. Marcel's hypnosis. That means she wouldn't be much help. Lily caught herself wishing the old, strict Mother Superior was back. Let's talk to old Mother Superior. Um, come, Lily. Sit down. You can help me embroider the dolls for the doctor. We uh. are good little children. So good. It appeared so that Mother good. Superior was under the influence of Dr. Marcel's hypnosis. That means she wouldn't be much help. Lily caught herself wishing the old... 
Yes, we already heard that. What's up, Garrett? Edna and Garrett were tied up. Sexy. Lily was on her own once again. Um, you have to get us free, Lily. I think Mother Superior has a knife to cut the threads. Unfortunately, she can't use it while she's hypnotized. If only we could somehow get her out of her trance. Huh. I guess she can't... I mean, I can't come across nice things. Ooh, do whatever we want is the last uh, chakra to be opened. Um, I'm so happy to see you, Lily. I'd give you a hug, but... Oh, well. This wool version of an H.R. Geiger nightmare is sort of restricting my movements. Can we postpone this touching reunion scene until later? First, we need a plan for how to get down from here. Your mama needs a plan. <laughs> My mother has a plan. For example, to convey me a sense of reality. What's your mother's plan? Oh, I forgot. You no longer have any parents. Oh, that's me. Uh -huh. What? Oh, Lily is right. <sighs> we should concentrate on getting out of here. I agreed. <laughs> Twit. <coughs> <laughs> Okay, um, yes, we, we have to do this, but no, we're not going to do it now. I'm going to cut this episode short, and you're going to understand why in the next exciting penultimate episode of Harvey's New Eyes.